Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a really interesting colony sim uh, called Floodland. That's right, it is a, a game that is set in a flooded land. Uh, let's jump into things and see what we've got going on. Uh, now, straight off the bat, we can actually uh, decide to choose from any of these individual clans. Uh, they've all got a couple of sort of differences uh, between them. Are they super uh, important at the moment? Uh, sure, why don't we try, um, why don't we try you? We're, we're gonna go face a challenging word uh, world. Sure, uh, we're going to turn the tutorial off and we are going to jump into things uh, right about now. So the, the client differences won't make a massive difference to the way that we play, but it is worth sort of mentioning uh, straight off the bat. Anyway, uh, we checked out this game when it was in demo form. Um, that would have been, what, a couple of different months ago? Uh, I'm actually going to skip this tutorial, but basically the upshot is is that the world is in a pretty grim place uh, and we are going to hopefully try and make it a little bit better. Uh, right, so, uh, the game is actually quite good in terms of walking us through exactly what we need to do in order to provide for our people. Uh, it's a new beginning, happy days, gather, gather safe food before uh, we set up camp. And indeed, we will try our very best to do all of that, find all the scouts and establish a permanent settlement. Yeah, so first of all, very, very early on, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be discovering uh, as much as we possibly can. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploration as well. And we'll basically send our scouts out from our central camp over here. And we will see if that yields us yields us any results uh, in the interim. Uh, we've got five people, uh, five workers that are that are able to work here, which is grand. Um, nothing, nothing too major. Uh, up in the top left hand corner, we've got community size. We've also got influence. We've got research, which we'll no doubt get to in due course. Uh, we've got risky food. We've got safe food. We've got uh, water, we've got wood, and we've also got rubbish. Now, believe it or not, uh, all of those resources are going to be pretty darned handy uh, over the course of time. Uh, there's also, we can see in these factories over here, uh, that there are some resources which we maybe want to... Uh, which we maybe want to check out in a little bit more detail, which we will do. Uh, there's also some resources that we can't actually access at the moment, like this dead tree, which we can gather using the hacksaw, uh, but we're not able to gather uh, under any other circumstances. What do we got over here? Sure, we'll gather that, gather that, and continue to explore over here, although I'm pretty sure that there's water over here and therefore we can't do very much. Now, uh, what do we got? We got building remnants. Uh, it can be adapted into a renovated house, which is kind of nice. Uh, but we can also search for people, which is exactly what we're going to do if we send a scout over there. Uh, we're also going to jump it into, what, two or three times speed? Yeah, just so that we can see a little bit more progress. And also, no doubt, we will start to see our, we'll start to see our food yielding some results. There we go. Fantastic. And, um, yeah, now we need to officially find the scouts. Well, given that we've already found the ruin... I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, let's go and search this decayed ruin as well, and we can and we can go and make that happen. Beautiful. Uh, we also have got stuff over here, like little, yeah, like some plastic, which we're going to go and pick up right about now, because we can actually upgrade, uh, sure, uh, because we can actually upgrade this encampment to a small storage. I believe that's one of the tutorial missions. Uh, which we're gonna have to, which we're gonna have to go through anyway. So we might as well, we might as well get started on the progress that we need in order to do that. Survivors have been found. Marvelous. New people have found us. Um, resources they have. They've got plastic or they've got rubbish, whatever. Uh, they've got water and they've also got ten people who do not have a clan. You know what? Happy days. Welcome on in, friends. We're always delighted to have more people. Brilliant. What's our outcome? New development possibilities and one research. Marvelous. Uh, upgrade the encampment into a permanent storage facility, which is exactly what I was talking about. We'll get that done as soon as we've got 300 plastic, which we do right now. Uh, but we actually need to go to technological development and get it sorted in here. So, uh, the tech tree is kind of weird. The tech tree kind of, like in a civilization sort of style game, covers different areas, I guess, of human progress. So, we start, at, we start here. Uh, we can move to rubbish. Um, but we need more research points in order to do so. Um, and there's a lot of 
there's a lot of different techs that we're going to need to that we're going to need to be able to access in order to unlock specific um you know for example if we want to unlock the medium storage we need to develop planks and we also need to develop uh, you know, so planks here and also the small storage right here. Anyway, uh, we can develop small storage, which is exactly what I'm going to do uh, right about now. And then we're going to flip back to... Uh, there we go. We're going to flip back to here and we're going to upgrade. Marvelous. Let's go into two times speed. Seems to be no reason to, to be going at, uh, at, full, at full whack. Uh, we'll get that upgraded and then we will continue to do... We'll continue to do some more exploration... And hopefully, we'll get another mission. Hey, look at that. We've got some research. Brilliant. People need shelter. Provide tents. Now, this is where this is where my expertise uh, really comes in clutch. Uh, can I build uh, Can I build tents straight away? No. We're gonna have to go and uh, we're gonna have to go and check out things. Oh yeah, I should mention by the way. There's like four different tech trees as well. So, uh, well, you can see exactly what they are uh, what they're all about up in the uh, the top uh, the top bit of the screen there uh, we got a growth tech tree we got a survival tech tree an exploration tech tree and a well-being tech tree uh, the tents specifically are in there you go uh, in in the well-being tech tree uh, can it to be anticipated right pretty much anyway we've unlocked the ability to build the tents now which uh, I'm just gonna go and do how many tents do I need to build uh Five seems like a good number. Uh, but we should also probably get some more plastic. So I'll set up some more plastic collection. Uh, there are some pretty, like, big, large rubbish piles here. Um, and if I could get a sorting hut, then that would be then that would be brilliant, because that would allow me to access all of those resources, uh, which is kind of nice. Provide tents for your people. Brilliant. We've managed to yoink ourselves ten research. Provide a steady supply of edible plants or fish. Ensure that people have a steady access to clean water and gather a supply of rubbish. Right, so we will start the process of getting all of those resources uh, sorted in just a second. But for now, let's set up some additional harvesting. Just with my scouts at the moment, I think. There we go. Just to get all the plastic that we possibly have. There we go. That's fine. Okay, that's looking good. How's our storage yard looking? It's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. It's got some decent some decent range. That's fine. Uh, we've also got a water tower, which we can which we can access at any moment. Right. Uh, plants or fish. Let's get the let's get the forager hut, shall we? Where is it? Uh, rubbish. We'll need to get rubbish first. That's gonna unlock a whole bunch of additional technologies. Survival. I will take the forager hut. I'm also going to take the water still. Not going to take the fishing dock because we don't actually need it quite yet. Uh, what did I say? We needed the plastic thing. Where's the plastic thing? Fill kitchen, fishing dock, growth. There we go. Sorting hut. Perfect. Right. So uh, this is going to allow us to hopefully get access to a little bit more plastic. And also we're going to be able to build a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of buildings. Let's get the plastic building done first. And let's get that over... Oops. Let's get that over here. Yeah, we'll get it somewhere like so. We'll build that there. We shall ensure that this gets raised up as a priority. And the reason being is that this is going to allow us to generate plastic from all of these piles. Now, because this game is kind of tidal, um, because it's on a, a flood land, uh, you might want to say, uh, these large rubbish piles will actually replenish. Uh, which is kind of a cool, kind of a cool little, uh, little noteworthy, little noteworthy thing. We've recently built a new tent. Right, so I'm, I'm completely out of plastic, basically. But plastic, again, plastic comes in quite regularly. Sort of flows in. Let's set up any additional little collections that could, that could be handy. Can we explore out here? Yeah, we totally can explore out here. Can't move through deep water. We need boats. Don't worry. I'll get I'll get boats. I'll get boats. But we've basically explored pretty much to the extent of our of our island, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, let's get uh, let's get a forager hut next, and we'll forage next to the berries. We'll get that set up over here. We'll get a water still. Uh, where do we do that? It needs to be built in shallow water. Okay, well, I guess down here seems like a pretty good place to do it. Might as well. Uh, the sorting hut is still our first priority. What do we got? There are five homeless people. Provide them with shelters. Is that really the case? 
Ah, I see. So each of these, each of these do three. So we need to get another two, another two tents. Well, there's no reason not to sort of zone. There's no reason not to zone two tents right now. Sure. We'll zone, we'll zone that right about now. Uh, the sorting hut is officially donezo, which is great. That's very, very good because that's going to allow us to get a whole bunch whole bunch of resources coming through, which is fantastic. And in fact, uh, it's allowed us to achieve our mission of gathering gathering supplies, which is good. Uh, and more importantly than that, it's going to allow us... What do we got? Oh, we got a yacht wreck. Interesting. Uh, that gives us an old world relic and also a textbook, both of which are going to be... Uh, are going to be very very useful but we're going to we're going to talk about that look at that more boat wrecks uh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit um it's not mission critical that we do that right about now uh i think we're out of plastic yet again what do we got over here yeah let's go and approach this interesting place again more more old world relics go and research research over here Ooh, plastic that's a nice little plastic bounty that we're going to be able to get the sorting the sorting house is good don't get me wrong like it's going to get us it gets us plastic it gets us plastic at the rate of 62.5 every day um but it's taking a fairly long time right what do we got here coronal mass ejection okay yeah so there is something to do with a, a big sort of end of world event i mean i'm not sure it particularly matters what's the issue some resources are outside storage range Oh, that's okay. Well, we'll do what we can. Explore over here. Explore over here. And it looks like there's another sort of island over here, which I may be able to get to. Old radio turret. Yeah, that's going to be super useful. That's part of the sort of... Um, that's part of the tutorial... That's part of the tutorial stuff that I know we're going to have to do. Again, because I've because I've done uh, I've done this I've done this before on a run through. I at least know what is going to be expected of us. Uh, we're going to search for this here now. I guess the dingin is going to tell me no. The dingin is not going to tell me that we're almost out of um, out of water. Um, but I know for a fact. Thank you. Two people, two people are homeless. Yeah, uh, I know for a fact that we have um, that we've got no water left, which is fine. Um, you know, it's it's not the end of the world because we can always just search this water tower, and that's going to do us for a long for a long time to come. Uh, but truthfully, we just need more plastic. And if I check, yeah, if I check some of the areas that are around my that are around my base, I should also probably go and collect some more some more berries. There we go. Sure, we can set up, you know, we can set up as much collection as we're, as we're realistically able to do. Uh, there's no real reason not to do that. We need to get this forager hut built, and I just, for whatever reason, just can't seem to do it. Oh, there we go. Just as I say that I'm not able to do it, we managed to get ourselves uh, the forager plant down and also the water still, which is quite nice. And, of course, we already had the sorting the sorting house for the, uh, for the rubbish, which is grand. That gives us 18 research points. That is plenty. Provide a place for people to study and gain enough research. Well, I will try and do my best. I will try and do my best. Uh, we've got four people that are unemployed, uh, technically, which I don't think is any, you know, necessarily bad thing. Uh, it's certainly not the end of the world. I mean, delete that search. Really doesn't matter to me that much. Delete that search too. Uh, the water tower is now officially empty, but we get 17.5 water daily. Uh, what's our, what's our balance per day? Our balance per day is still technically negative. Still technically negative. That might not be the case. It might just not have updated yet. Either way, we'll... Ooh, renovated house. Renovate for 250, for 250, um, plastic. I mean, it's not a bad idea necessarily. We've got plenty, we've got plenty of storage capacity, so there's no real reason to do anything like that. But anyway, we need to provide a place to study and gain enough research. Yeah, so what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to find, I think it's in growth? Yeah, so we're going to need study, uh, and that means that we need to officially develop wood, which uh, we can do right about now. That's going to unlock a whole bunch of opportunities for us. It leaves us with five points. Uh, we can get study, that's going to require us for one, what's this? No, I don't need any of that nonsense. Uh, yeah, get study. What's the academy do? Uh, people gathering here to study textbooks in order to raise their uh, clan's experience. Yeah, we can talk about clan experience in just a second. But for now, it doesn't particularly matter. Is there anything else that we can unlock uh, that I haven't unlocked? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
I think we've got it all. We don't need a forager house yet. We certainly don't have enough research points to do anything like that. A hacksaw is, again, noteworthy. But again, we don't have to worry about it right now because we just don't have the points. Anyway, uh, let's get the study. Let's get the study house. It's actually more of a tree house. We need 400 plastic and 350 wood. Well, uh, we've got the wood. We don't quite have the plastic yet, but maybe with a few other additional excursions. That's out with search range or gather range, I should say. Yeah, there's literally no plastic anywhere. We'll go and get those berries. Sure. And we're still foraging. We're still foraging at a decent rate. That's fine. Uh, we'll go and get, yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more in the berry department. Uh, we've also got large rubbish piles over here. I would like to get a... I would like to get another sorting hut here. Thank you for saving at a time where I wanted to build a building video game. It's very cool of you. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be possible for me to build over there. That is unfortunate. Yeah, there's a pretty limited number of areas that we can actually, you know, actually tap into. This is probably a good place to do it. Yeah, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the rotation button. No, how do I rotate? There we go. That's the one. There's no way that I can... I don't think that gets all three in, unfortunately. Uh, what if I rotate... Oh, that gets all three in. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, again, there is there's not necessarily any reason that we shouldn't get uh, that we shouldn't get multiple sorting huts to deal with multiple sort of piles. Like we could always get a second sorting hut, literally just behind this one that deals only with those two sorting huts. Uh, but it doesn't really seem overly overly worth it. Anyway, uh, gain enough gain enough research to study. Yeah, so we need to find old world relics by exploring ruins and let our people study them. In the uh, in the study building, yeah. So we need three old world relics, and we've got zero at the moment. Uh, now there is in the yachts over here, and I think there was already one. I think there was already one discovered over in the house here, but there may very well be sort of another another yacht or something that I'm missing. Uh, maybe alternatively. We might already be starting to study it. I think we're actually already starting to study it. Right. Either way, we'll get more research very, very soon indeed. Oh, we already we were already studying it. That's totally fine. Okay, brilliant. And that gives us five more research as well. So we're basically being led nicely and slowly, uh, actually quite quickly, uh, through the through the early through the early stages. Right. What do we need to do? Set up a specialized work post for people with certain specializations. Set up a learning environment for people to develop their specializations. Increase the fortitude among people. Uh, fill one of the specialist workers. Yes. Okay. So what do we need to do? We need a fishing wharf, a forager house. Uh, or a sorting lodge. We can upgrade an existing building. Yeah. So if I was to, uh, I need to unlock it first. That is that is absolutely worth uh, noting that I need to that I need to unlock it first. Then we need to then we need to develop the academy mode of study, uh, which took me a while to work out how to do last time. Uh, but what we do is. We, yeah, we develop we develop the the academy mode of study in the in the tech tree, and then we can switch it over in the study. Yeah, it took me ages to figure that out last time. And then we can advance the clan uh, and increase the fortitude specialization, all of which we should be able to do uh, pretty easily, if I do indeed say so myself. Anyway, we've got a whole bunch of um, of tech that we can unlock right now. Hacksaw, I don't need that right now, so let's not worry about that. What about in survival? Forager house, let's get it. Boom, we'll advance that one. We'll get the academy tech as well. Uh, logging huts. Unfortunate that we can't get that. What about in well-being? Can we get anything here? The shack, not developed rubble. Uh, we need 25 points in order to develop rubble. Yeah, we're a little bit of a ways away from that. That's fine. Anyway, let's get this forager house or this forager hut upgraded to a forager house. And actually, quite conveniently, it's going to end up taking in that additional mushroom cluster, which is pretty darn good. Uh, that gives us the opportunity. Oh, yeah, forager house. We've already got it. And then, yeah, can we toggle this? Can we toggle this here? Yeah, so standard mode, we can go into uh, into academy mode, which we'll do in just a second. But basically, the academy mode is going to burn textbooks as opposed to old world relics. Old world relics give us uh, research, and textbooks will give us clan points. So there we go. Right, 
Should we swap on over here? Let's do it. And let's start burning our textbooks and we'll hope that that ends up working. Right, okay. Increase the fortitude among people and fill one of the specialized work posts. Yes, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that very, very shortly indeed. Let's get the research done. It shouldn't take too long at all. Uh, it should literally just be done today. That's going to give us a whole bunch of clan points, which is really, really nice. How many research points do I have? I've got 16, so that's pretty good. We'll worry about that in just a second. But let's get let's get the research done first. Also, let's maybe send out some more some more scouts to do some additional berry picking or whatever it is that they do. Pick up some minor bits of plastic as well. Anything else over here? Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, because we can only have five or six tasks available uh, at any one time. What is, what's the issue? A client is ready to develop their specialization. Indeed, they are. Uh, yes, so let's go into, what is it here? Down here, brilliant. And we can choose. Uh, what we want to specialize in. Now, uh, we have to specialize in fortitude. Uh, physical strength, stamina, and endurance. Fortitude allows your people to work more efficiently in jobs like catching fish for safe food, uh, collecting rubbish uh, or scrap in sorting stations or extracting coal. Uh, yeah, exactly. We are going to take this. We're going to improve the specialization. Happy, happy days, which is very, very nice indeed. And now uh, we should, if I'm not mistaken, uh, be able to fill somebody fill somebody into here. But uh, to be fair, it may very well be because I just have... There we go. Yeah, it may very well be just that I do not have enough people. Uh, we will reduce temporarily the number of people that we have working in the study. It's not super mission critical. Anyway, uh, we've managed to nab ourselves some research and also some new development possibilities, which is quite nice. I talked about the radio tower a little bit earlier on. We need to restore that and uh, locate the remaining groups of scouts. We'll make that happen. Uh, so yeah, so far is so good. We're all we're all looking great. The radio tower, uh, remarkably, is is right over here. Um, what do we need to do? Find the old radio tower and develop the technology. That's literally it. Can we explore this far? I don't think we can. Can we upgrade our? Okay, that's uh. Wasn't really expecting uh words to be sung at any point, but hey-ho, it's kind of cool, I guess. What do I need? Exploration. I think we need exploration, right? Reclaimed radio tower. That's it. Let's get rubble. Let's get the reclaimed radio tower, but we need more research first. Ah, that's a kicker. This is very strange. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It's lovely music. It's just very, very difficult to have two people talking at once. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I build... Can I build a small storage facility over here? I can. Let's do it. Let's go and build a small storage facility over there. Uh, that's going to actually quite rapidly allow me to expand into this area, which is going to be very, very handy. Uh, let's also see if we can maybe do some additional plastic collection or anything like that over here. There we go. Cool. And then we'll build the small storage. Uh, we'll allocate some workers. And that will that will make everything better for us, I think. Right, I think we've mostly got all the different boats and the different things that we can explore over here. Yeah, no issues with that at all. Right, let's drop the number of people that we have working at this small storage to about five. Let's increase it to about five over here. And then let's start the exploration process as far as we can. There we go, and... There we go. Okay. That's totally fine. Okay. People in the small storage live too far from the workplace. Consider building a road or constructing homes close to it. Look, honestly, don't worry about it. Don't just, just, just deal with it. Just deal with it. We're going to be able to, we're going to be able to get some more stuff done soon anyway. 
Uh, we can also actually tell you what, we can also start doing a little bit of resource collection in this vicinity. That's going to be a super valuable plastic hole over there, which is kind of nice. Uh, we've got the radio tower. Let's go and search it. Pretty nice. And we should also probably get these ruined houses searched. Search them all. Uh, we can only get lock picks. Or we can only search these ones if we get lock picks. That's fine. Queue them all up. And we can also search for people over here. And also old world relics, which is kind of nice. Either way, it's going to take quite a while for all of these tasks to get done. I realize that I've maybe gone a little bit too, uh, a little bit too ham on the tasks. But that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there, no doubt. Uh, let's switch the uh, academy or the study back into the to the normal mode so that we're going to be able to get ourselves some more research points. That's very, very nice, in fact. And yeah, we'll hopefully we'll hopefully give this this small storage the opportunity to just maybe you know do a little bit more do a little bit more stuff yeah long travel time between work and home unfortunately there's not much that i can really do about that i don't really want to set up a brand new a brand new base of operations on this island um we can loot what's here but then i'd like us to just sort of go back go back to this area don't worry we're going to be doing a lot more a lot more exploring like later on but for now it's fine our storage is overstocked uh build more or upgrade it i mean Okay. Okay. Um, that's a great problem to have. I'm actually delighted that that's the problem that we have right now. Sure. Yeah, build another another small storage over there. Uh, district manager. Do I care particularly about this right now? No, I do not. It doesn't particularly matter to me. All we need to do is just get it done. Right, so the old radio tower needs to be restored. We need 800, 400, and 200, which means that we actually need to get ourselves more... Uh, more rock, which is definitely around. It's just not super common on our original, yeah, our original island. But that's fine. Let's get. Oh, it's okay. We don't need we don't need any workers. We don't need any workers to work there. That's totally fine. Let's get another small storage building. Sure. In fact, we'll actually get two. I mean, for what, 300, 300 uh, a piece? I'm very, very happy to make that trade. Yeah, that's that's very, very good. What do we got? Long travel time between home and work. Again, uh, it's kind of an unavoidable, an unavoidable fate at the moment. Like we're not gonna, we're not gonna build houses over here unless we want to renovate one of these houses. Could we maybe renovate one of these houses? That might be possible, actually. Could I maybe do, could I maybe do, uh, yeah, three buildings aren't operational. No, no, I get it. Don't worry about it. Uh, we've got some herbs, by the way, in stock, which is, which is quite handy. Uh, I can't prioritize, I can't prioritize the, the searching of, uh, of that building. That's, that's fine. Very heavy workload. Work, workers can barely keep up with the tasks. Yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly surprised why don't we reduce the number of people that we have working at the original one and just like stick as many people into yeah stick as many people into there as possible take one person out of there one person into there one person at a sorting hut and into there right okay so pretty much everybody is going to be working on the new island now that should have an impact like, that should have an impact. It's like, I guess, you know, I, I, I guess that is the case. That there is an issue. You know, don't get me wrong. It's not exactly ideal, but it's but it's also not the end of the world. Right. Can I prioritize that ruined house? Okay. That ruined house cannot be built back into something, unfortunately. It seems like only some can. We also still need more... We also still need more... Uh, more rubble. Okay, you know what? Do I want to? Do I want to maybe just eat my hat and just get like tents over here? Build four. Build four. Build it. Top priority. Top priority. Top priority. Top priority. Yeah. Okay. So building everything at top priority does kind of mean that if everything is at top priority, then nothing is at top priority. Uh, to be fair, like that's not exactly that's not exactly an unfair assessment, but 
you know, it, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, the top priority is getting this tent done, and then we'll get all of these tents done, actually. Yeah, we're going through a lot of days not actually accomplishing very much. Uh, but that's kind of to be anticipated when basically half the day is spent walking between between workplaces. So just get the construction done. Oh, survivors found. Happy days. There's plenty of water that's uh, available for drinking. Uh, people are eager to join. How many of them are there? Ten. Ten whole people. Well, that's blooming brilliant, if I do indeed say so myself. I'm not exactly unhappy with that. There's a pile of rubble there that can be used uh, or can be can be accessed with a sorting lodge. Okay, let's do one person in all of these. And then what do we want to do? Maybe crank the rest into like here? Sure. I don't really think that we need to worry about plastic collection right now. And so we're getting the job done, aren't we? We're getting the job done, right? Uh, so this is this is really, this is really, uh, this is really a, a problem. Um, we're gonna get more, we're gonna get more, uh, more tents up and running, at some point. But apparently nobody is capable of doing it. I did high priority this. There we go. Finally, get it done. Beautiful. Okay, so those four tents are are I mean, an absolute godsend. They are they're fantastic news. That that is really really great. Uh, with those four tents, is like we should have. Like, no travel time. Like, at all. There we go. And also, uh, it preemptively, it preemptively fixes our housing issue. Who would have thunk it, eh? Right, is that it? Have we actually done everything over here? Seriously, I think we might have... I think we might have actually done everything over here. Right. Okay, let's go and, let's go and collect all of this rubble, as we are required to do in order to hit uh, 200, and then we will go and get this radio tower rebuilt. It's pretty much just that simple. Reclaimed radio tower. Yeah, we've got it, don't we? Oh, I don't I don't have it yet. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get it done, and we'll start the process of building it. Brilliant. Okay, um, we've got 49 research points, which is, I mean, absolutely marvelous, to be honest. Absolutely marvelous. Do I want to get one of these sorting lodges? I feel like maybe that's not a bad idea. I feel like that's not a bad idea at all. Let's do a little bit of exploration out here, just to sort of see what there is. Right to the sort of very edge of our, the very edge of our territory. Are we okay for water? It says we're losing water each and every day. I would like to rectify that if I if I possibly can. Uh, maybe I can rectify it with technology. If I get survival, water still, what do we need? Water purifier? We need to develop planks. Planks are going to cost me 25. Sure, why the heck not? I'll take the water purifier. It needs to be built on shallow water. Absolutely. Let's do that. Let's do that and then can we just upgrade this building? Yes, we can. We need 140 rubble in order to do so. But that's a very, very achievable goal. Given that there is an abundance of rubble on this island. Cool. Let's go and do it. Let's go and do it. And we'll get that water purifier upgraded. And hopefully we're not going to run out. That's the dream anyway. How's the radio mass coming along? Aha! It's looking pretty darn good. Right. Prepare three people. We need nine food and nine... Uh, nine food and nine water. Brilliant. We will do both of those things, but we will do both of those things in just a second because I would like to get my water still upgraded. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take people out of here, give us four people available, and we should be able to prepare... Uh, we need to perform a transmission first, which is going to cost us a battery, and then we can do an expedition. Brilliant. Okay. What have we got going on? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got a, a flooded factory, uh, which we can search, and we will search. But we're going to do that after uh, we go through the motions here. Now, this is as far as the uh, as the playthrough that I went through last time went. Um, we can set an expedition up from here. Brilliant. Expeditioners. Yep, expeditioners. Expeditioners. Rations for three days. Take construction materials? We can't do that. That's fine. Set the expedition up, and we'll set up to go here. Brilliant. Uh, it's pretty much just that simple, to be honest. It is literally just that simple. And I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of loving it. I am really, really, really enjoying 
uh, this game. And the fact that we were able to fly through right to the point which we were at. Ooh, let's... Yeah, so I have lockpicks. I have one lockpick. Maybe I don't want to use my one, my one and only lockpick. We still have one person that's free as well. Uh, so let's go into tech and have a little look at what we can actually splurge on. Medium storage. Presumably gives us a little bit more range as well. I like the idea of paths. Path on shallow water developed research facility. I have no idea where the research facility actually is. Uh, we need we need the next thing for it. Uh, anyway, logging hut. I'm going to get a logging hut. I'm also going to get a sorting lodge. What's academic deba debate do? A slow but stable production of research? Yeah, I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to get the sorting lodge. Uh, yep, yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, so academic debate. If we go on to academic debate, that's going to give me just research, I think, over time. Yeah, plus 0 0.4 daily, which isn't exactly, you know, a tremendous amount. Not enough to write home about, that's for sure. But it's at least going to at least gonna get us somewhere. Uh, let's get a... Oof. Yeah, so this is why we're going to need to get a path on shallow water, because... Without the without the shallow water modifier, uh, that is going to go exactly nowhere for us. Is that an exploration? Yeah, pathway on shallow water. We'll get the research facility. We'll get the research facility as soon as we possibly can. But um, but yeah, that path is going to do. That path is going to be uh, be doing miserable things. That's for sure. Right. What's our expedition yielding? Uh, I mean, it is not there yet. That's the situation. How are we doing? We should be able to see. We should be able to see our our people. They should leave on a little boat, I believe, which is quite nice. Very few resources left in the area. That's okay. We'll get there. Uh, what are we doing? We're okay for food. We've got some risky food, but that's that's fine again. Not necessarily the end of the prob. Uh, ne not necessarily the end of the world. Um, I would like to get a logging hut, and I tell you what, the logging hut should probably go in an area where there is an absolute abundance of logs, um, which is exactly where it's going to go. Rotate. Right in there. It, can we not squeeze it in here? It's... It's very tight. Oh, I mean, there's so many, like, good-looking spots here, but I just can't squeeze it in. Okay, it's going to have to go there. Uh, we'll get that built. That's fine. We can probably take people out of working in these storage facilities. That doesn't really seem to be a priority. Uh, what do we need? We need a worker with erudition. Okay, well, that's cool. We can maybe do that. Oh, there's our boat. There's our boat. It's on its way. Brilliant. And what's important is that more than anything... Uh, we are going to be able to get ourselves some more people. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go and search for people over here. Literally, literally just dispatch them. Beautiful. We've actually discovered a brand new clan, which is fantastic. Uh, we are used to eating less than other people. They believe in uh, rebuilding the old world. Um, I will accept them. I will accept them. Absolutely. Welcome, welcome on into the club. Welcome on into the club. Right. Uh, so that gave me 18 people, which means that we now officially have uh, one of our people developed cough after searching the flooded facility. Look, that's the price that I'm perfectly willing to pay. Um, are these people going to stay here or are they going to come back? That's the real question. I'll search that. Uh, we are low on rations. Let's maybe see if there's any rations to be collected nearby. Um, I mean, there might be, yeah, there's rations in the flooded factory as well, so that's fine, too. Let's go and do exploration here and here. Bring the newcomers back to the settlement. Don't you worry, I will... In fact, I think I might have actually already done that, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out in just a second. Uh, medication, textbooks, electronic chips, and thermites. That's what we can unlock with a flipping lockpick. Let's do it. I, I don't have my other lockpick to unlock this house, uh, but that's pretty that's pretty good, to be honest, all things considered. Uh, can I 
start another transmission. I might want to start another transmission because I've still got loads of radio batteries. Um, so that'd be kind of nice. Right. I cannot put these workers into... Uh, I can't put them into the, into the building quite yet. There we go. What do we got? Anything, anything noteworthy around here? Lots of plastic. Can go... Where can we go to? Where can we explore to? We can't move through deep water. We need boats. Yeah, yeah I get it. Don't worry. Explore over there. Explore over there. This looks like a big old Ferris wheel thing over here. There we go. Okay, so there's only three of them, which is which is okay. Expand your settlement by settling a new small storage on the island. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that instead. I might do that instead. Can't build an island that we can't access. I mean... That is, that's not true. That is not true. Can we, do we upgrade it? Oh, I see we can go back home. Throw away resources, upgrade to district maker technology. How do I how do I get the district maker technology? Is that an exploration? It's presumably got to be an exploration, right? Uh, district maker technology. Right. So reclaim radio tower. What do we need for this? Lumber mill needs to be developed. That's a wee bit of a wee bit of a ways away, unfortunately. Uh, well, we've got remaining rations for two days. Darn, that's a that's a shame. That's a shame. Well, you know, this is a good little, it's a good little, uh, good little island that we've done. Done a good little bit of exploration here. There we go. Get as much, get as much intel as we possibly can. Uh, for the brief time that we're actually here. Have we searched everything? Search using ropes. We don't have ropes to do, do anything over there. Is there anything else that we can search? Not without additional technologies. We don't have ropes, obviously. Uh, rooftop garden, that's absolutely getting searched and taken, stuff taken home. Yeah, good thing that I saw that. Uh, crash cars, that doesn't really matter. Okay, that's fine. So we've got, we're obviously low on rations. We've got rations for like a day. There we go. That's high priority. Let's do it. And then let's get these, let's get these people home. That's A-OK -okay with me. Uh, let's prep to, let's prep to receive them over here. Let's get some, uh, tents. There we go. And some more tents over here. I think that's probably more than enough. No more resources to gather within range. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's get uh, let's get this done. Let's get this done tonight. Get some soybeans. Can be adapted into a herbalist's house. Uh, we do also have the ability to lockpick. You know what? Let's not worry about this right now. Let's just say uh, back home. Let's go back home. That's fine. You know, we got what we came for. Let's uh, let's round everybody up. Let's get them back home. Right. Relationships between the two camps uh, have started to deteriorate. Well, I mean, there's not very much that I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, we are a little bit low on the old water. Um, I would like to get another water still if that's the case then. Survival water purifier. Let's get it over here. Let's also start building paths just about everywhere that we possibly can. Uh, yep. go uh cool and we'll build down here in anticipation for getting the uh the next level right uh storages of too many too many things to to handle that's fine uh you're just walking back no oh, well now you're now you've jumped on board okay well that's fantastic right anyway Hopefully relations won't start to deteriorate, uh, but we should be able to bring everybody back. Uh, and there we go.
beautiful. Everybody is officially back. Happy days. You can all you can all get into your you can all get into your tents. Expedition has returned safely. Uh, epidemic has started. I'm not exactly over the moon about that, and I'm also not exactly over the moon about the fact that we have absolutely no water. Uh, the first expedition, brilliant, has been successful. Survive the epidemic. Yeah, I mean, look, we will indeed survive the epidemic. Um, can we do anything about that technologically? I would very much value the opportunity. What is it, in growth? Woodcutting station? No. Is it? Is it in survival? Maybe something well-being? Medical tent. There we go. That's perfect. Let's get the medical tent. Let's get the medical tent. Let's build the medical tent. We'll build it back on the main island. Sure. We have no materials for a tent. Uh, that's wrong. Let's try and fix that. There we go. Anything else that we need? Not particularly. Okay, that's good. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff happening right now, but I think we'll be just fine. Let's get let's get workers in there. Uh, this water purifier becomes top priority. We do not have anyone that is uh, that is skilled enough to do the job. Uh, so let's go and do academy and we'll do some uh, academic studying for a little while. Uh, let's reassign everybody to the sorting huts on at least a temporary basis. At least we've got housing for everyone, which is good. Uh, we still need to do a walk route through the water, but we'll do that in just a second. Very few resources left in the area. Yeah, we should get fishing, right? Although we're actually fine for food. We're actually totally fine for food. Right. Water is really perturbing me. Very, very worried. Three people got sick in Shell Corner. Yeah. How could we have been living so close to... What's this? Oh, yeah. We need to get... Uh, hold on. We need to get ourselves another... Another gathering bush down. Survival. Forager house. Is there anything to forage on this on this island? There's absolutely not. My goodness gracious me, that's miserable. That is miserable. Anything to forage over here? Ah, there's a few things to forage over here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can always get the fishing wharf, uh, which is going to allow us to get much more, much more food storage. Uh, the good news is, is that we've got the water purifier up and running, which is great. Uh, the balance is positive, which is, which is very, very happy. Uh, we're going to definitely be in with, be in with a few, uh, a few bits and bobs over there. We'll get the medical tent built momentarily, I hope. Uh, we should have more than enough resources to make it happen right now. Brilliant. You need to find, you need to find a source to fix the disease quickly. Herbal station. I, I have the ability to make... A herbal station. Uh, I guess we'll. I guess we'll build it. Is there any herbals nearby? I don't think there's that many herbals nearby. Sure, we'll put it in there. What do we need? We need thirty planks. I don't think I actually have the ability to make planks. The logging hut is is all good and well, but it, yeah, we don't have the ability to make planks. We've got twenty on us. We need thirty. Uh, what did we need for? What do we need for planks? Yeah, logging station. We need 15. We need 15. What about... Oh, yeah, we'll switch back to standard mode. Switch back to standard mode. Do a little bit more uh, real-world relic hunting or whatever. That'll sort us out. Is there also... Yeah, there's another real-world relic to to get from this, from this ruined house over here. So we'll go and do that. Uh, we've got 15 people that are idle. Is there any reason why we have not got more people working here. We can always get a few more. We finished searching that place. Brilliant. Let's get to work. Get to work on this. Uh, the medical tent is going to be distributing medicine. And we actually have tons of medicine. We actually have tons of medicine. So am I particularly worried? I don't think so. Uh, but I am worried about the lack of food. That is, that is problematic. 
Right. Let's get let's get clinicking. Let's get clinicking. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I hope that our medicines are going to be distributed swiftly. Uh, water, we're doing we're doing fine for. This is good. Uh, have we done? Yeah, we've totally done all of the research that we possibly can. Uh, actually, no tell lie. We're currently working on our research, which is great. Beautiful. And we'll do one more. Uh, but whilst we're waiting, let's go into... Uh, it's not exploration, is it? I knew it was an exploration. Not survival. It's logging house. It's 15. It's 15, video game. It's 15. It's not the 10 that I thought it was. That's fine. Good to know that no one suffers from thirst anymore. No, but somebody... In fact, some people are about to become very, very hungry very, very shortly. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do very much about it. There we go. Okay, well, that is what it is. Okay. We should order a lockdown. We can order a lockdown if... Oh, really? Is that the case? I mean... We've got two patients... Healing progress, 97%. I mean, we got two people that are ill. Three people have fully recovered. I mean, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. This forager house is really, really problematic. Also, let's get this building renovated. Why not? We've got the resources to do it. Let's do it. Let's let's flip and renovate that building. I think this, yeah, this ruin, that ruin is beyond... Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, that ruin is beyond, uh, you know, beyond salvation. But uh, but this one on the corner here that could become that could become a nice little a nice little holiday home at some point soon, which is marvelous. Okay, brilliant, uh, fantastic. We've managed to get ourselves uh, a big a big uh, a big shelter. And in fact, I think we may have just survived the epidemic there, which is quite important. Anyway, uh, what we need to get is the the wood cutting station, or. The logging, the logging lodge. No, we need the wood cutting station, right? Yeah, we absolutely need the wood. Yeah, we need, we need planks. We need planks and we need a way of generating planks. So if I'm not mistaken, this takes, yeah, this takes wood and turns it into planks, which is good, which is good. That's what we need. Get that in there. Uh, we also need to get the fishing hut, which I can get. It's in survival, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, fishing dock and then fishing wharf is a little bit more sophisticated. But we can get the field kitchen, which is important nonetheless. And we'll we'll get both of those set up. So that's going to take the... So the fishing dock is going to allow us to take... What do I need? This needs to be wholly on land. Or at least... Actually, that's totally fine over there. Uh, yeah, so that needs to go over there. And then we also need to get the field kitchen, which can go over here beautiful. We'll build both of those. That's going to get us fish, and then this is going to get us, uh, well, the risky food is going to be turned into not-so-risky food, which is great. Uh, we still have four people that are that are sick, which is unfortunate, but nothing much that we can really do about it. Either way, that gives us a nice little bit of redundancy in the food department, which is, which is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. We need planks in order to finish that. We need wood in order to finish that. Uh, can we maybe get... We maybe get, we can get all these with a hacksaw. How much, how much does the hacksaw cost us? 10. 10 research to get a hacksaw. I mean, well, it's not about whether I would want it or not. It's whether I can afford it. And I literally cannot afford it. Yeah, pharmaceutical post, that will come soon. There we go. Okay, well, that's a little bit a little bit more resource collection, which is kind of nice. Attention is needed. What do we got? Grassroots games. Relatively calm lately, so we've been trying to get some kind of league together. We just want to get the competition going again. You know, good old rough and tumble. Uh, it sounds like a good idea to do it officially. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Excellent. 18 people got a new status. Everybody's placated. Oh, that's brilliant. Happy, happy days. Uh, right, woodcutting station. Yeah, we're still we're still ongoing. What's the issue? Heap full. Very few resources left in the area. Uh, well, if we could get 
them moved to somewhere more useful, please. That would be great. Uh, let's also swap you back to uh, academy mode so that we can get so that we can get some more clan research done. I would really like to level up one of my clans. This clan specifically uh, would be very, very good to get done like now. How many people do we have still suffering from the epidemic? 93% healing mode. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. I think everybody is better. Poisoning. Uh, no, nobody should be... Nobody should be poisoning. Um, yeah, I mean, look. We've already pretty much developed herd immunity at this point, right? Four people are fully recovered from illness. I mean, look, this has got to be... This has got to be... This has got to be complete, complete fixing. Right. Um, says people are dying of thirst. That's not the case. We're not dying. Nobody's dying of thirst. A few people might be a little bit thirsty, but that's, that's, not the, that's not the same video game. That's not the same. Either way, this is all looking good. This is all, this is all fine. We've got 12 points. We can, we can do something with those 12 points if we need to. Uh, let's just continue to work away. Continue to work away, get the job done. This is definitely buildable now. The herbal station is buildable. Uh, medicines, we still got medicines. We have pretty much survived the epidemic. There's nothing, there's nothing major happening, which is great. Um, what I would like to do is maybe get another, maybe get another fishing dock. Maybe another fishing dock would be good. I'm just like acutely aware that we maybe need a, a bit of redundancy, you know. Sure, we'll build that over there. I mean, is this epidemic not flipping done yet? I mean, come on. And then we're also going to build ourselves another water purifier. In fact, I don't want to build another water purifier because I want this flipping... I want this thing to be upgraded. We, it, it, it is happening. Uh, erudition, brilliant. Let's do it. Improve specialization. Fan flipping tastic. And what we're going to do then is we're going to take people out of this job here and we're going to put people that have the skill into there people that have the skill into there and then everybody else can just go back into here for now beautiful look at that okay so that's going to absolutely categorically take our what is it i mean look it's going to boost our it's going to boost our water production by basically 50 percent not quite but very very close so i don't think now that we've done that now that we've made that change we're going to need to we're going to need to adjust things as we as we potentially needed to uh, previously. Survive the epidemic, 20 research, and new development possibilities. Brilliant. Law-abiding society. Ensure basic legislation, create space for recreation and social gathering. Gain influence by satisfying the need for recreation. Fantastic. I can do both of those things. Uh, that's great. I wonder if we acted more decisively, we've been rid of the epidemic sooner. Literally nobody died. Literally Absolutely nobody died. Uh, can I do... Can I do a transmission? Does that... Ooh, yes please. I would like to do an expedition to here. Yeah, oh yeah, we need to get... Uh, we need to get some idle... Some idle people. There we go. And you. Uh, unfortunately, we can't take construction materials. Can I do that yet? Is that possible? Is that possible? I would really rate... I would really rate getting the district maker. Pathfinder camp speed boost. District maker. Yes. Yes. That sounds great. I mean, that sounds like absolutely brilliant. Take construction materials. Brilliant. We need, what, 300s? Oh, no, we need nine water first before we can before we can go. Well, we'll get nine water pretty much momentarily here. Oh, this is fantastic. This is really good. Come on. Nine water. There we go. We've got it. New expedition. Where? What? Where did everybody go? What the heck happened? What the heck happened there? Right, well, that was very, very strange. Right, well, let's send these people over to here. That's great. 
and we'll do we'll do some nice little some nice little exploration. Uh, right. So ensure basic legislation. Oh, this is cool. Uh, community law, establish law free, allows you to build the bonfire, the canteen, the bonfire fills the recreation, granting influence proportional to the satisfaction of people using it. Okay, that's cool. You cannot suspend it. Right, well, I'll establish it. Brilliant. Happy days. The rule of law has officially been established. Create space for recreation and social gatherings, uh, which I will do with a bonfire over here in the corner. Perfect. And a canteen. Sure. Why not? That seems like a pretty good place to do it. As good a place as any, as far as I'm concerned. And we shall wait for our... We shall wait for our people to arrive, to arrive over here. A good decision made without hesitation. I'm impressed. Wow, what an absolutely jerky thing to say. Makes me feel really positive about our working relationship together. Right. Okay, what do we got going on here? We've got some research to do. We've got some urban ruins. What the heck is that? Thermites. Interesting place. Let's approach this place. Uh, ruined house. Let's approach this place. And I guess we can search that place as well. I mean, we're going to need to do... We're going to need to do some more stuff. Uh, we'll do what we can to help. Sure. Glad. People got upset. Okay. A clipping from the environment. Oh, okay, I don't... Okay. Stories and, and whatnot. We don't need to worry about that altogether too much. Right. Um, so given that we're putting down... We're putting down feet over here. We can't build on an island that we can't access. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. I need to upgrade to the... To storage? Yeah, we'll do that. Don't worry about it, video game. No problem at all. No worries at all. Right, there's only three people over here for now. But I'm hoping that that's going to end up happening. Uh, right, there's an epidemic that has started over here. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I was kind of hoping that maybe that wouldn't be the case. But there are medicines, which is good. Anybody anybody willing to be, uh, anybody willing to be a worker over here? Can I increase? No, I only have one idle worker there, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so what can we do with the district manager? Do we need to do something? Oh, hold on, hold on. What do we got? Was not left to rot. Whoa. Whoa, okay, uh, you died. But you gave me an old world relic. And that also... Ooh. Let's perform an old-fashioned burial. Sure. Uh, yeah, otherwise that's going to upset the other tribe, and I really don't even want to risk that. I don't know what the issues could possibly be. Um, I suspect that our health, I suspect that our health-related issue is over here. Yeah, our health-related issue is over here. That's, I mean, that's fine. I'm not particularly, I'm not particularly bothered about that. Uh, we are going to start to see some unrest happening now. Uh, but is there anything that we can really do about that in the short term? Not really. There's some stadium ruins over here, which I want to... See if we can try and explore, but I suspect that we're not going to be allowed to explore over there. There we go. Okay, this is interesting. So there's obviously clearly like these modular sort of island things uh, that are just kicking around. Which, very, very cool. Very, very cool. This area looks, this area looks reasonably simple. Can be adapted into a fisherman's hut. Yeah. We should really do food collection. Uh, we should be fine for food collection over here, I think. But, like, we can do... We can do a little bit of food collection. We should also probably set up a water still, etc. Uh, yeah, getting, um, getting transportation set up between... Between the two areas is probably important. Yeah, a pier. Yeah, connecting connecting islands. We need to get scrap in order to do that. We're a bit of uh, we're a few resources away from that, but it's not the end of the world. Search and explore, developing the lumber mill. Uh, that's cool too. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna wrap this up uh, for right about now. This is very very good, ladies and gents. Uh, I don't know about you, but I am I am very very much enjoying uh, Floodland. Let me know if you want me to continue, um, because I'm uh, yeah I'm having a blast. It's a very very fun game, and uh, I mean I, I wonder what is out in 
Oh, look at that. There's a city in the distance. I want to know what's what's in the rest of this fog. Will we ever find out? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, my name's been Nobody Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.